Hello there, I'm Nerobax, and welcome to Season 4 at Williams, which we're just about to start. We did fairly good last season, to be fair. We almost broke the 1000 point barrier. We're going to see if we can pull it off this season. We had some uh, DNFs, some uh, problematic moments, but uh, I'd say we did well. It's just going to be very interesting here to see how this driver kickoff all ends up. Hamilton, Sainz, Leclerc, and Paris without a contract. I would assume one of those, well, the top three, the Claire Hamilton signs, will go to Red Bull. That could definitely, again, be interesting. I don't think we need to switch out any of our drivers. We're still going to keep on developing them. And with that, let us uh, start a new season. We have 21 million in this season that we can carry on into the next one. Welcome to a new season. Time to review the regulations, the sponsor obligations, the engine, the entire shebang. So we gain 105 million here. It's the main fund now because we are rated first. Let's see what we can get through sponsor obligations. So merchandising, again, we're just going to max this. It gives more income total over the course of the season, which is fine by us. Race simulator, 15. Race days, 15. Memorabilia, 15. And sadly, once again, Duhan will have to take a second driver role in interviews. But uh, it'll bring us a little bit of money. Now, race day, factory events, and uh, race drive weekend appearance will uh, not be doing, simply because, again, we have enough money. There's no need to take a performance hit from uh, these if you can avoid it. Honestly, I wish you could actually, you know, negotiate some of these away, but uh, sadly we cannot. With that, obligations are fulfilled. We'll be gaining 121.6 121 121 million total over the course of the season. 13.5 now as a lump sum, and then we'll get 4.9 million per race. So that's going to be uh, that's going to be good. Let's confirm. And long-term objectives, we have completed these. We'll have to check what the new ones are once the season starts. Our balance is still looking good, all things considered. Uh, outgoing 7 million in entry fee. Or payment sponsor funding would still be uh, still be pretty good. This is added to the 21 million that we already have i think so we should be okay technical directives we uh lost a little bit in everything but we came out on top here on uh, the chassis came out on top here on the uh, front wing by far rear wing came out on top there too very good to see a little bit of a loss in drag reduction but uh, we can live with that side pods had massive gains in engine cooling too and uh the underfloor did gain a little bit of a loss, but uh, I think we'll be okay. We'll get that back pretty quickly. And the suspension too had a decent gain. Uh, well, not a decent gain. A very small gain in drag reduction and brake cooling. And we cancelled out the uh, loss in uh, downforce from the new regulation. Financially, we're looking good. The uh, price share is going up, so we're going to get uh, a bit more money. While the team's lower lose money which is uh awkward to say the least sporting wise pole position no longer gets a bonus point which is going to make breaching a thousand points a bit more difficult but i still think we can do it and again we're just going to stick with red bull engines they work well we do have uh, a good car we can handle the power loss threshold the extra power does help i feel like it might be a little bit too effective at some stages so we'll put 50 million down there and uh Let's have a go, go through our, our list there. So as you can see, we're losing quite a few stats, in all honesty. And the reason why our car is being downgraded is actually fairly simple. Because of the way uh, the AI sets up your car, since you don't design your first set of parts, every focus seems to be on the middle. Which means that as soon as we design a part, we're going to have massive gains. So uh, although it looks like we lost a bit... I don't think we will, will in the end, but uh, we'll have to see. Car part development has started. New ATR period. Allocations announced. Uh, should not really be changed from last season. Team Ross's upgrade. Ferrari kept uh, both their drivers. Uh, Ocon and Russell at Mercedes. So they switched out Hamilton with Ocon. That's, uh, that's a move I don't, don't think anyone saw. Red Bull kept Perez. Uh, Vettel and Stroll at Alpha Tauri. Bottas and Norris at McLaren. Ricardo and Gasly at Alpine, Schumacher and Magnussen at Alpha, Giovinazzi and Tsunoda at Haas, 
Go Guan Yu and Albon at the Aston Martin. So, not too many changes. Um, the most surprising one is Ocon, I think, which means that, if I'm not wrong, Hamilton should be a free agent at the moment. Uh, which could, of course, be very interesting. Now, as you can see, we have 19 million that we can use to develop our car, and we're just going to get right into it. We are going to be doing an underfloor. That was basically a given. Being that we have lost uh, performance uh, due to the regulations. So underfloor is going to be our first uh, choice here. And what we are going to be doing is focus on a few things. So we're going to do this. And as you can see, this one doesn't actually give huge boosts, all things considered. It helps with dirty air. But we don't do a lot of dirty air with the airflow sensitivity. So airflow sensitivity, once you have a dominant car, you can tune down perfectly because it helps your cornering. But it, uh, well, let's put it this way. It hurts your cornering, but improves your dirty air cornering. So this is a decent setup for the, uh, for the underfloor, I feel like. It's still going to be a decent upgrade. We're going to be lacking a little bit compared to last season, but uh, our cornering will be better. Put uh, six engineers on this. We maybe get it done in time gonna put it on intense and as you see we're lacking one day so what i'm thinking it that we do is that we do this and then we'll just emergency design it for the first race so that it will be ready it'll still be a decent performance boost so uh i'm, I'm fine with this let's go ahead and design the uh underfloor as we usually do at the start of each season but uh the underfloor is not the one where we have the biggest gain where we have the biggest gain would probably be the front wing so let's have a quick look here on what we can do with said front wing if we go all the way right on the sliders. So still, not the biggest uh, the biggest gain here, all things considered. But uh, still okay. A little bit in cornering, a little bit in medium speed, high speed, top speed. So research game from, on the front wing, not too good. But then again, we are reaching... Pretty high levels of uh, expertise, I believe. Yeah, these are, as you can see, we're currently at the 75.5, uh, 76% mark. And that's when it truly starts slowing down, which is probably also why we are suffering a bit there. We might wait for the front wing then. Let's see how rare wing is. We do have a lot of slots. So again, we can change this as we see fit. Airflow sensitivity, again, works on dirty air, not uh, cornering itself. We want to do cornering, so we'll turn that down. The RS Delta is also something that we kind of want here. So, again, Rare Wing 2, you, can't, you can see it's not a huge boost, all things considered. That is ma mainly due to us having, you know, reached the expertise level where it becomes a lot harder to improve. But uh, I think we'll push through here. We'll do a Rare Wing. Front Wing w might be better, but uh, we'll push through a Rare Wing here on Intense, as we usually do. And we'll also get two minor projects going, which I think will be the chassis, because it takes a long time to make. Let's see, airflow middle. We want that one. And as you can see, we'll go a little bit down on engine cooling, but uh, we'll gain a decent amount of stats here from the chassis. So, uh, we'll be getting this one made ASAP. Intense should be okay. And what I'm thinking is that we design side pods instead of suspension this year. And that should be uh, perfectly okay. Airflow front. Helps cornering. So let's get that going. Airflow middle. Also has an effect of cornering. So we'll just put that also up. Um, this should be okay. Yep. Looks, uh, looks good. Let's get those developed. And we'll put it to intense. So there we are. Now, I have actually just realized that I've done a dum-dum. I forgot the staff. Luckily, only one of them had points to, uh, to offer, so... Not the worst, we lose a slight amount of stats, but... Uh, I can live with it. And Yego becomes 80. Very nice. Now, with that in mind, I think we have everything now started. Again, we're going to try and develop everything but the front wing towards the... Before the start of the season... But uh, I think we're still looking good, all things considered. Facilities-wise, uh, still okay. We're refurbishing the CFD. But uh, other than that, I think we're okay. Let's have a quick look here on the board confidence and the goals. Constructors champion. Uh, 
within three seasons. Should be doable. First dirt this season should also be perfectly okay. The budget from the board is 70 million. So uh, we should have a decent amount of money. Let's have a quick look here at how our finances actually look in terms of the monthly balance. So as you can see, we make 6.3 million a month. Even with our current uh, expenses, but as you can see, we barely pay our drivers anything, considering both of them are BDC champs. So uh, we might have to reconsider that. They might not want to re-sign with us in worst case scenario, but uh, yeah, it's just, uh, just how it is. No good, well, really good, more like it. Uh, new drivers, just something we'll have to live with. Now, as I said, Hamilton is without a contract. If we really, really wanted to, we could just have him for free now. And we haven't actually scouted him, so I don't know his performance. So let's get that done. And again, it's either him or Verstappen. Currently the best uh, drivers. So uh, I think we'll stick with Piastri. We'll stick with Duhan. There's no need to change that up. And I think we're ready to uh, start moving forwards, maybe. I'm trying to think if there's anything I have forgotten to check or do, but uh, I do think that we're okay. So we'll press continue and we'll get our car set up in preseason. But uh, again, in terms of research, the pass you at the AI will give you for your first car will seem to all be balanced. So you can get some potentially massive upgrades if you uh, if you do things correctly. So we've got a factory upgrade. Um, can't upgrade it anymore. We will not either, because again, it's just development speed and uh, project capacity. So, uh, we are perfectly fine in that uh, regard. Boucher has points that we will distribute. And Duran actually also has a point into control. Yastri has a point into cornering. And we will be moving ahead here. The weather center is in full condition. Uh, it'll take 34 days to fix this. Um... I'm considering if we want to wait and let it deteriorate a little bit further, seeing that the first couple of races don't really require it. But on the other hand, I would probably forget, so we're just going to get the refurbishment done. It's safer that way. Safety sim completed. Very good. Well, refurbishment completed. Chassis design completed. And with that, we're going to manufacture four chassis, which will be done in good time before uh, Bahrain and let's go to our car pass development we're going to design a new part we're going to design the suspension and again I think we're just gonna again sacrifice brake cooling generally cooling uh, from what I've seen could help with lockups but uh, the thing is we suffer so few lockups to begin with that we had 40% last season in brake cooling and engine cooling so already we're a lot better in those stats, but uh, I'm going to keep them around 55, 60 mark, and we'll see just how effective that 15% increase is compared to last season. Again, it's not really a scientific study, so it's not going to be it's not going to be uh, a huge gain or a huge loss. So uh, we'll have to see just how that works out for us, but uh, yeah. For now, I'd say you perfectly fine with not focusing on it. Verstappen scouting complete. Two years left of his contract. His performance is uh, very good, as you can see. Let's check Hamilton's stats. And uh, he's actually not interested. Oh, he has announced his retirement. Okay, that ex that explains it. So he's not a free agent. He's just still in the system, even though he has announced uh, his retirement. But yeah, that's still very good. So, uh, that is good. We might this year just get Duhan and Piastri new contracts if we can, just so that we don't lose them. Side pods have been completed, and let us go ahead and not emergency them. Just make four regular ones, we'll be done in time. And I think with this, that we now can focus on the front wing. We'll put everything in, because it's just that more important. We'll go low on the airflow sensitivity. Again, we don't really do much dirty air cornering. And we usually have a dominant car that is dominant enough that we can just uh, 
completely ignore that. So we'll be aiming for that this season too. And this one will be a little bit delayed because we only have four engineers. But once the underfloor is done, we can move an engineer over. So uh, it's not great, but it's not terrible either. Engine simulator has been upgraded. Good to see. And with that, it has reached its maximum. And so has, well, most of our car development facility. It's just a factory, but I will not upgrade this to maximum. There's no real need. In terms of the cost cap, though, we don't have too much to play with this season. We already spent 30 million on, uh, well, designing the new car parts. So Intense is super expensive. We're going to play up towards 70 million of that cost cap, around half of it in, uh, in facilities. Staff salaries, engineering team, not really a lot. So basically just facilities and car development that you uh, spend money on. Welcome to the 2025 season. Um, clean slate. Technically, this had a fewer pitch. So uh, I'm looking forward to see how our car, our stock car, matches up because it's a downgrade from last season. So it could definitely be uh, quite interesting, all things considered. So we're third in top speed. Well, second, technically. But we are still a leader in all the other ones. So our car is still going to be very good. Brake cooling, engine cooling was still lacking. So we might just use this season's research to boost the, this a bit but uh, i think we'll be okay the bear has gained a couple of points um i think we'll do this one in low speed one in high speed downforce again i'm a little bit unsure what you should invest in for your uh, stuff so uh, that's okay again we want to max underfloor for vaca and our race engineers are becoming very, very good at their job. Pit crew. Um, let's boost the front and rear drags down. Everything is around the 70 of the three stats we care about. And we'll try and boost that one a bit more. The weather center has been refurbished, which is good. Our chassis manufacturing has been completed. We'll fit all the parts when we, uh, when we made them. Suspension design completed. We're going to have to manufacture it. Four of them. Uh, should be done in time. We'll even have a spare one. Good. And we are going to have to start a new design. So, do we want to design? What do we want to design? Do we want to go for another chassis? Or what is our current expertise in? Honestly, what we could do if we're really cheeky is that we go for boosting the expertise mainly in engine cooling and maybe even just go brake cooling expertise here and boost it harshly and there's actually a very simple way of doing so and that very simple way of doing so is you take a design pull all your focuses here to the bottom like so and we boost only the one stat that we care about now here's the thing we will not see a huge change in you know the expertise until we make the next piece so we're gonna have to make another Suspension after this. And uh, that should be a decent upgrade. Now this thing will probably have um, basically around the same stats as the one we currently have made. But it will do a quite significant uh, boost here to, uh, to the brake cooling expertise. So I'm going to do this as both an experiment because we already have the best car, as you saw, before this season. So we'll run this as an intense experiment where we'll be... You know, messing around, seeing just how high we can push, say, uh, either cooling, maybe drag resistance would be better, on the suspension throughout this season. We'll be spending a lot of our cost cap, remaining cost cap, on that, and we will probably break it this season, just to see how it uh, it plays out. So we have a rear wing now, too. And with that, we need to design a new part. Um, I think side pods should still be good. Again, as you can see here, expertise in... Uh, yeah, we have... I think if we boost the engine cooling on, again, the chassis here, we're going to make another one as a result. But uh, this is mainly a focus boost, more so than anything else. Sorry, not a focus boost, an expertise boost. We are experimenting a little bit now. But uh, it should be okay. We have the best car, we have money to spare. I want to see just how high those expertise boosts uh, get for, well, the parts we are currently uh, focusing on. 
preseason testing results. Red Wing has been manufactured. Uh, board confidence check in. Helipad has uh, suffered. Let's get some uh, boost in there. Porsche has uh, more development points. Makes it to 79. And it's starting to become really, really good. So, uh, Duhan might be a little bit at threat here. Both our drivers have only okay in morale. Would they be willing to uh, renew their contracts? I don't know. We'll have to see later on. But, uh, Chris will be okay. Bahrain testing results, uh, same as our previous one. Don't be concerned here. We have a new ATR period, which I think we'll use on the underfloor. So our rating has improved, you are correct. Team hub in poor condition. We will refurbish this, simply because I kind of have to. And there we are, the underfloor will be... Uh, will be designed here. It's good. And if we will manufacture two of them emergency, it's expensive. But uh, it's addition at this point so that we can have most parts done by the time the uh, by the time the first race rolls around. So let's get two more of those underfloors designed. Also install them. And if we compare our stats now to the one we had uh, 76, 13. Again, decent, uh, decent size boost. Let's put all the parts in here. See where we end up. And, uh, that should be pretty alright. Now, honestly, now I think about it, boosting the stats for our cooling might be a bad idea, seeing that we have 10% from facilities. But this car now is pretty good. It's, uh, not as good, if I remember correctly, from last season. So we're better at cornering. But I think we are a little bit slower, which is perfectly okay. We'll get that ironed out as we go. But compared to, say, Ferrari, we have huge advantages. Like, really, really huge advantages compared to Red Bull. Still, massive advantage. Uh, Mercedes, again, a massive advantage. So I wouldn't be too concerned. Cooling is, again, the only thing we lack, so, uh... Us doing a bit of testing in, returns of, in terms of cooling and, you know, expertise boost should be perfectly okay this season. Now, we do need to develop one new car part. And that car part is going to be the underfloor. As you can see here, we're already losing stats because of the, uh... 50 and wind tunnel hours that we put in the previous iteration. But uh, that should be okay. Drag reduction here is at 99.99%. So we're going to do this for our underfloor. It should be okay. Again, we don't do a lot of dirty air cornering, so not really... doesn't really make sense to, to boost it too much. Now, on the other hand, if we do not boost it, we could end up in a position where we actually end up in trouble trying to get our drivers to do the arrest train, but uh, I think this is fine. We'll be boosting the... Uh, the expertise of the uh, other pieces here. So as you can see, we gained almost 2% from that last uh, last project. 75.4 to 77 point uh, almost 2. And in terms of low downforce, we gained about 1.5%. Uh, so this would be about 77. This good number goes up to 2, remember. 77%, 77%, and 77%. So even if we run intense now, the gains are super minor. We're, start, we're starting to plateau a little bit. So with that in mind, we're going to be making this one. But I don't think we'll be running it in tents. I think we'll just run it as... Uh, put five engineers on it. Put it into rushed. We can put six engineers on it in all honesty. It should be okay. But uh, we'll just run the five man projects as we usually do. Put it on rushed instead of uh, intense here. And again, that is because we have reached that plateau. And we also have... Not a super, super big uh, cost cap to work with there because of our facilities. So again, we might break the cost cap here just to test it, but if we continue as we did last season, we would break this pretty quickly. Again, we're going to do a lot of research most likely too. I don't remember how much we spent last season, but I think 20, 30 million maybe. And of course, by also creating parts for our season, we're going to be paying for, uh, for that. But uh, I think we're good. 
We're looking, uh, we're looking okay. The underfloor has been completed. The start of the 25 season is beginning. And I think we have all projects running. Yes. So again, this season is going to be a bit more chill than the previous seasons. Um, lucky I checked because I forgot to put the engineer in his project here. So again, this is going to be a bit more of a chill season. We will once again be just mostly testing things. As you can see, our car is very, very good. Uh, and again, we're starting to plateau around 75%. That's probably when you should try and get everything to 75% and then focus something. But what I'm thinking here is that we're going to mess around with the car parts that are quicker to develop. Namely the suspension and uh, probably the chassis down the line. So uh, that will be the goal. We'll have to see how it exactly plays out. Typos 2 might be a part of this uh, experiment, if you will. But uh, I'm looking forward to the race here this season. It should still be a pretty chill one and we'll have to see what we do here because i have a sneaking suspicion that this season now might be the last one we have a patch coming hopefully next week so we'll have to see what we do here because it'll be today tomorrow and the day after tomorrow so uh, we'll have to see what uh well that will be the episodes for this season basically but we'll have to see what happens with uh with the weekend. We might do a like one off Haas challenge, try and make Haas uh, win the season in one while waiting for the patch. Or I might just make some more guides. The complete guides to uh, research, to car development, car design. Uh, it's going to be a three-parter just because if I put everything in one it's going to be like a two-hour tutorial. But uh, I'll be making specialized uh, guides for each and then I'll be making a general guide that goes through everything you learn from uh, from those parts so i'm still working on it i'm not sure how it's going to turn out but uh, it's going to be fun now i forgot to ask you in the beginning of the video so i'm going to ask you now um if you have enjoyed the series so far please like and subscribe as it helps me out a ton and thank you to everyone who's already done it it helps me out a lot sadly that is my headset telling me i'm running out of uh, time here on the battery so uh, just give me a minute and uh i'll have to end this episode then but it's a good timing. We're almost done with uh, preseason. We just need to set up performance targets for Bahrain. And then we're basically there. So we still have the best car. We should be perfectly far content with going both drivers 1-2. And finish position. Again, we're just going to gamble 1-2. But we'll be conservative and go one driver in the top two. For the, re for the curse, basically. Every time we go two drivers in the top two, over even just two races, one of them will crash out. So be conservative we'll make a little bit less money but i'll feel a lot safer which is good so thank you all for watching so far again i appreciate it a lot i apologize for that beeping noise uh i'll try and remove it in post but i don't think i can i'll have to uh record that little segment then but uh, i think it should be okay my apologies for all the rackets again thank you for watching i hope you've had enjoyed and i hope to see you next time thank you very much bye bye